All right, so as you guys know, I, I sit in my attic. It's very hard for me to get downstairs, especially when it's like this. It's really rainy. I was just going to post a video of how pretty it was with, like, with the fog and the clouds, like sitting on top of the trees. And as you know, also, we have these really psycho people that moved from next door to us across the street, and they some of the biggest meth dealers in town and greasy palms and stuff, so it's not like they're going to get busted anytime soon because everybody knows and they're being covered for. So this blue car, now they lived there before. They were squatting there before, this female and someone else. And <coughs> I guess they're over there hanging out doing meth. They've been there like on and off for three days going back and forth and we don't care. You know, it's not our, we're sitting in our spot, of course. So I wanted to make sure to go public with this because we were sitting up here and of course one of the meth heads came out, the female that owns that blue car. And she was like digging through the floorboards and stuff looking for more drugs or something that she thinks she dropped. And we're just sitting up here having our normal morning conversation, some coffee and stuff, right? And we were just joking about things from our past, right? We we're just having a little laughing at what they laughing were doing. about what we used to be like, you know, and stuff and just kind of enjoying each other's time, looking at the weather, talking about the clouds and stuff. I have the little video which doesn't matter what we talk about cuz this is our house. But this is what the hostage situation is about. So this is like hostage situation day, at least for the recordings, let's say day 30, right? Because I started them like a month ago. And as you guys know, it's been going on for a long time before that. And I guess she thought we were literally only up here to spy on her. Like, I guess that's what the other people <coughs> do too. They, they think that we literally come up to our attic to wait for them to come outside and spy on them. And she said... um. What'd she say? Are you really sitting up there watching me? <laughs> I'm like, what? So, first thing in the morning, we got blasted by a meth head thinking that we are spying on them because they're paranoid from being up for three or four days high on drugs. We're not allowed to sit in our attic window because we're spying on people in the neighborhood now. <laughs> Give them more dope. Maybe they can go get go get. Hallelujah. Them. Good, more dope Good morning, everyone. Jesus loves you. The more and, dope they get. and as far as we're concerned, Jesus is still Lord. So we're just waiting for that trumpet to sound. It was just the stupidest thing to see first thing in the morning. I'm sorry. I just want to make it very clear about the hostage situation because this is what we've been dealing with. And I thank you guys so much for your support and love and prayers. I love the comments. I am so thankful that we know that we have more than just our support system here, that we have an entire, like, several yeah, people nation. in several countries that nation. are that God has blessed us with to stand behind us in prayer and stand with us in prayer. So God bless you and um, occupy.